Yes, this morning we talked about diagnosis and how difficult it is. And there were issues that were germane to individual diseases and then issues related to patients who have undiagnosed diseases in general. And I, I think people talked about how difficult it was to find the appropriate diagnostician. And uh, I spoke a bit about how the Undiagnosed Diseases Program addresses those issues by receiving medical records and reviewing them with experts and then uh, seeing some of the patients uh, at the NIH and now at different centers around the country. Well, certainly financial diagnoses, uh, uh, financial difficulties with undiagnosed patients are enormous. That, that is to say, insurance companies are often unaware of uh, how important a certain diagnostic test is. Or, for example, if you wanted to get generic genetic testing with an exome or a genome or some such, uh, at least until recently, it was very difficult to do that because the insurance company's approvals are based upon uh, specific diagnoses and the specific testing for that diagnosis. So to, to have what we call agnostic testing like that is very uh, difficult to get support for from uh, insurance companies. That's actually getting a little bit better uh, now. But uh, scientifically, our patients have run through an enormous number of tests already and they've seen many, many experts, and no diagnosis has come to the fore. That means that this is either an extremely rare disorder, or an atypical presentation of a rare disorder, or it's a new disease. And when that happens, it's very difficult to try to tie a particular genetic variant in with a particular presentation or clinical phenotype. So you need to have experts who have enough time to devote themselves to this, and that's actually not a part of the current medical paradigm in this country, which is to say there's a, there's a business model that's associated with physicians and other caregivers spending relatively little time with patients and being reimbursed for seeing a large number of patients. So one has to sort of uh, exclude oneself or exclude these patients from that paradigm and uh, allow for a uh, considerable expenditure of time to investigate an undiagnosed disease. So physicians need to recognize when a, a disorder or presentation is unique and they need to refer appropriately. So going to uh, specialists and defining which specialists to go to is something that providers uh, have to do. But then there's another step, and that's at the level of the expert herself or, or the consultant. And at some point, if that consultant doesn't recognize this as a particular disorder, then we do have the Undiagnosed Diseases Network in this country now that provides essentially free diagnostic evaluations for people at now <coughs> uh, 12 different sites around the country. So that should be the next step when uh, all, uh, let's say, diagnostic avenues have been exhausted by specialists at medical centers. And we just need to increase awareness of that.